Despite the fallout with France, following the French government's withdrawal of its troops from Burkina Faso in February 2023, and a subsequent suspension of French aid to his country, courtesy of the political developments in Niger, the Burkinabe president Ibrahim Traoré seems to be attracting more international partners, that are willing to support him run the country to prosperity, day after the other. President Traoré, who gained world admiration and fame, in the aftermath of the July 2023 Russia-Africa summit, that was held in St. Petersburg, has seen Italy and Saudi Arabia become the latest countries to pledge their support for his administration and country going forward. We say this because, amidst the uncertainties surrounding the recent coup d'etats in Francophone West Africa, Italy, which is a member of the European Union, just like France has assured Traoré that, the Italian government is looking forward to strengthening its ties with Burkina Faso, and expand its areas of mutual cooperation. Through the Italian ambassador to Burkina Faso, Andrea Romuzzi, who paid President Traoré a visit on the Tuesday of September 5, 2023, the Italian government committed to strengthen development and security cooperation with the Burkinabe government, amidst the many challenges that are being experienced in the Sahel region. A statement that was released by the Italian ambassador, in the aftermath of their meeting read that, in my farewell visit to His Excellency President Ibrahim Traoré, I was accorded a warm welcome, in which President Traoré said that, he is happy with our relations, which we look forward to improving. We took the opportunity to take stock of bilateral relations between Italy and Burkina Faso, which date back more than 70 years. We have between us, among other things, cooperation files dating back more than 20 years, and coupled with our embassy, which was opened in Ouagadougou almost five years ago, Italy's presence in Burkina Faso is being consolidated, for the mutual benefits of our both countries. He went ahead to affirm that, as a result of our cooperation, we have satisfactorily strengthened development cooperation, and are active in various sectors like agriculture, security, health, women, youth and the well-being of people living with disabilities. He also took the opportunity to express solidarity and reiterate Italy's support for Burkina Faso, in the fight against terrorism, affirming that, it is important for us to continue with this fight, so as to guarantee a safe region. Then as his explanation that Italy is against any military intervention in Niger, over the July 26 coup d'etat that deposed President Mohamed Bazoum, the Italian ambassador said that, Italy stands for a negotiated and diplomatic solution to the developments in Niger, and not any use of force. A couple of hours after their engagements, Saudi Arabian diplomats also paid Traoré a visit, with their own share of commitments to the Burkinabe government. In the evening of that same September 5th, Captain Traoré received, at his presidential palace, the advisor to the Royal Court of Saudi Arabia, Mr. Ahmed bin Abdulaziz Katan, who was carrying a message from the Saudi king to the Burkinabe head of state. Moments after their discussions, the Saudi delegation said in a press briefing that, in our meeting, we deliberated on the fruitful relations maintained by our respective countries, and I passed the greetings of the King of Saudi Arabia and his Crown Prince to President Traoré. He also revealed that he took the occasion to invite Captain Traoré to take part in two summits that will be held in Saudi Arabia on November 10 and 11, 2023. That is, the Afro-Saudi Summit and the Arab-African Summit. That the exchanges also saw Burkina Faso highlight the projects that it would like to submit to Saudi Arabia for financing, especially on infrastructure. Then Saudi Arabia, on its part acknowledged that, it wants to host the Universal Expo 2030, and the visit was therefore an opportunity for the King of Saudi Arabia's envoy to seek Burkina Faso's support for his country's candidacy.